What up, dope YouTube, man? It's your boy, All Access Tuck, back at you with another video, back at you with another gun review, actually. I already did one video before on my Springfield Hellcat. Today, we're going to go ahead and add in my Springfield Hellcat and the MP Shield. Not the MP Shield 2.0, but the MP Shield EZ. Now, before we get right up into this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new. I'm going to go ahead and put in the cards for the original video to my Springfield Hellcat. So, if you're new to the channel, you can go back and watch that. Or if you ain't seen it, you can go back and watch that. That way, you caught all the way up until this point. But we, I ain't going to talk y'all heads off. We're going to go ahead and get right on into the video. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I got for y'all today. We got your MP shield right here. Which is what a lot of a lot, which is what a lot of your police officers use with the hands trigger safety right there, where it don't got the actual uh, button safety on the outside. It has a trigger safety like my Springfield Hellcat. You got your mags here, which I believe, yeah, this one is a nine round mag. Now I believe mine holds thirteen. I'm gonna do this with one hand, y'all. I believe mine holds thirteen or fourteen. Actually, yes, mine holds. I have one 13 round mag. My camera won't focus, but I'm pretty sure y'all can see that there. Mine has a 13 round mag. This one has a nine round mag. Then we got another eight round mag right here for this one as well. As y'all can see, we can all we didn't already got that set to use. We got your gun safety lock just in case you're going across state lines or just in case you want to lock it up in your car for any type of measure there. We got your hollow points here that I got for my Springfield Hellcat right there. We got hollow points in that one as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and keep this video as raw as possible for y'all. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and start with the MP Shield, which is a pretty good gun. Feels good in my hand. Also feels good with the click inside it as well. Actually feels about the same as mine. This is a little bit smaller than uh, my Springfield Hellcat. But so over, Fitting in the hand, I'll probably take this this uh this MP shield over my actual Hellcat. But like I said, that kind of fits really good in the hand. Comes with the two clips, of course. Got one loaded there with the extended, extended barrel on the bottom where it fits a little bit better in the hand. This was a little bit thinner, but these actually hold the same amount of rounds in both magazines right here. So I got the trigger safety right there, of course, just like mine, has the trigger wall for the back. Then we got my Springfield Hellcat here, which is my EDC, which is everyday carry. Yep, so is the Hellcat right there on my camera tripping today, man. I don't know if y'all can actually see that right there. We got the gun sights right there, which is the MP Shield. It has those too, but not quite like this with the green dots. I actually prefer the green dots over the white dots. So it has the white dot there. And then the hard safe, hard shot right there. Um, I forgot what it's actually called. So if y'all know down in the comments exactly what this, this this entire site here is actually called, let me know down in the comments. I know one of y'all gonna comment down in the comments and let me know, just like y'all did on the last video. And oh, I got an update for y'all on my Springfield Hellcat. I know it was a lot of stuff I said didn't come in the box and didn't come with my pistol when I bought it. So I'm gonna give y'all a little update on that. I didn't check the box all the way. That's my bad, that's my bad, that's my bad, y'all. What? Arrow's a lot, a little bit longer on this pistol than my Springfield. As y'all can see, it's a little bit longer. Line that up for y'all, it actually is a little bit longer. But these pretty much the same size pistol. They both subcompact, they're not compact pistols. Uh, but the actual uh, MP shield, it doesn't come in this box. This box was actually bought for carry. Uh, this box actually, this gun actually comes in the box just like my Springfield Hellcat does. This type of box here. So, let's go ahead and get right on over to my Springfield Hellcat and what I didn't review when we was actually, uh, when I actually did the last review on this gun right here. So, <laughs> first of all, like I was just showing, I forgot to tell y'all it actually came in this carry bag if you didn't want to carry it in this box. Of course, of course, if you're carrying it in your book bag or in your, you know, in your car, concealed in your car somewhere, you're not gonna carry it in this box. You're not gonna carry your pistol outside in this box. It'll either be in this bag, in a book bag, or concealed on your person, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got in here. So like I said, we got a nine millimeter, 13 round magazine in the Springfield Hellcat. And then we also got your flat base 
uh, 11 round mag. I don't ever use this mag, which is why I looked at it, of course. Brand new mags, man, not even used yet. 11 round mag here, and then we got an extra 13 round mag, of course. Now that goes, so actually three mag, three magazines, two 13 round magazines, and an 11 round magazine comes with the Springfield Hellcat. And then also, just like what I was talking about with the MP Shield, comes with the Springfield Armory gun lock, trigger lock, whatever you want to call it, trigger lock. And then we got a few other things in here. Your manuals for your Hellcat, of course. Owner's manual, everything in here, man. Got all that type of stuff in here. They even, um, I got these, I got this pistol actually from a uh, rifle gear out here in uh, Plano, Texas. They actually uh, shoot the gun or whatever for you just to make sure everything works right. I don't know if they exactly do that for every place or even show you the proof that they did that. Now, what I paid for this pistol, I wanna say, actually, you know what? I got the receipt right here. What I paid for this pistol after taxes and everything, and let me see, did I buy anything extra with it? No, I did not. A 575.87 for this pistol after tax. I'll say that, I'm gonna say that. If you're looking for a real affordable gun, the MP Shield is actually a lot more affordable. You can fit both of these on your person pretty comfortably. They both, you know what I mean? Like I said, the MP Shield is actually a lot skinnier in size, but it's actually the barrel's a, a little bit longer. The uh, Springfield Hellcat, of course, is a little bit wider. Uh, now, like I said, it comes with a lot and two other uh, magazines and it comes with your proof of being shot and working and uh, all the functionality to the pistol it comes with it from rifle gear out here in uh well out there in plano texas i don't live in plano texas uh but honestly man i prefer springfield over uh mp shield i'm gonna just be honest with you man and I prefer it over that because the gun is a lot more concealable. It's a little bit smaller. It fits better in my hand uh, with the clip in it. Without the clip in it, I would probably say we're going with the MP Shield because just simply because the base is a lot more, uh, the base is a lot shorter. So I'm gonna say that actually works a lot better for me. I don't know about you guys. But that works a lot better for me. Drop a comment down below which one you think works better, which one you think does not work better, uh, and which gun you think is better. I actually got a chance to shoot my Springfield Hellcat. I have not had a chance to actually shoot the MP. I'm actually looking to get and get a uh, actual Glock 26. Uh, but the things that I actually hear about Glock makes me not want to purchase one. So I actually want to do a lot more research on the Glock before I even buy it because uh, my number one next buy is probably if it doesn't become like a semi-automatic or something like that or some type of rifle It'll probably be another subcompact pistol, which will probably be the uh, p365 Which the p365 is technically Basically the same as that gun as a Springfield Hellcat and pretty close to an MP shield So uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying y'all let me know in the comments if y'all actually shot one of these pistols before and which one y'all think it's actually better than the other and which one you are actually everyday carry um also drop a comment down below uh what videos y'all want to see do y'all want to see a video of me actually shooting these pistols at the range like i said i shot my springfield hellcat before so i'm pretty proficient in that uh you know what i'm actually gonna give y'all a range video i'm gonna give y'all a range video um, also comment below let me know if it's any other pistol y'all want me to review or anything else y'all think I should actually purchase drop that down below as well all right man well that pretty much conclude the whole review of uh, these two pistols that I actually want to review on my Springfield Hellcat and my 9mm MP shield let me know down in the comments anything that I missed in this video anything that y'all want to see in my next video comment it down below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel I appreciate you if you've been here go ahead and stay here man I got some more bangers on the way until then man it's your boy all access tunk I'm out of here man yep Tell, look for I'm the man. All